What's something that is secretly confusing to you that you never ask anyone about because everyone seems to understand or overlook it? Why are we having this meeting? At the beginning of every meeting, your end goal should be stated and everyone made to repeat it. That way you know everyone is on the same page. When people use the phrase look up, it seems like nobody can agree on an actual meaning for that phrase. I've heard some people use it to mean make out, and I've heard other people use it for having sex. It seems like a completely vague and meaningless phrase to me, and its use only complicates things, because I never know what they mean. Is this just me? It is supposed to be ambiguous. That way, girls keep their virtues and guys get to brag. It's win-win. I never thought of this, but I support this explanation 100%. I can't tie my shoes the normal way. My mom taught me to just make two loops and knot them when I was a little kid because I couldn't for the life of me figure out the standard way and that's how I've been doing it since. Drawing. I have no idea how people move a pencil back and forth on a page and it actually looks like something. Speaking as an artist, I don't remember learning how to draw. I started drawing at around age 2 and haven't stopped. But I do work my ass off to get better and better. So to answer your question natural ability plus motivation plus time. What the difference is between pressing C or CE on a calculator? I usually just mash both of them like 6 times. Just to make sure all the data is clear before I input a new problem. CE equals clear entry. C equals clear all. Myself and a lot of others have always thought CE was for clear everything. I always thought that CE cleared more stuff because CE has more letters than just plain old C. C clears everything, but CE clears more everything. How do birds make nests? Wouldn't the first twig just fall right off the branches of the tree? And then just nothing would ever get accomplished. This doesn't really answer your question, but I watched a documentary once that showed how particular birds are in looking for twigs to accommodate the different stages of construction of the nest. In the beginning they would look for Y-shaped twigs for the foundation. In January when you mention a date like, oh yeah that thing is on the 18th of July, and someone goes, oh yeah that's fine for me that's a Thursday, then you check on it, and it is actually a Thursday. What is this sorcery? I'm able to do this frequently. Most of the time it's because I know which dates are Saturdays and then I do the math from there. I learned from my mom who works in the wedding business, so she always knows the weekend days a year in advance. It works into the past too. Why people wouldn't just google their questions? The stock market is confusing. Buy low, sell high, cocaine. What's not to get? The Israel-Palestine conflict. I have no real grasp on what has caused all of the conflict in the Middle East, even though I'm aware of what is happening now there. Someday I'll look into it. Palestine was a British protectorate. After World War II everyone felt really bad for the Jews and the British declared that they'd give the land up to create Israel as a Jewish homeland, despite the fact that tons of Palestinians were living in that land. After Israel was declared, the Israeli War of Independence happened because the UN basically said that whoever owned a piece of land by a certain date was the legal owner. So the Jews, Palestinians, and Arab countries all fought for the land until the set treaty date. So that was Israel's introduction into being a nation displacing the people already there and immediately fighting all its neighbors. When I was a kid I though the black market was a real place. Never really understood why the police didn't just go there and shut it down. Not to mention all those people who've been killed at gunpoint. Stop going to gunpoint. It's dangerous there. When I think about it, I still picture a big market where everyone is dressed in black and there are just organs and exotic animals everywhere. I know how it actually works but this is always how I've pictured it working in my head. I don't know how to blow my nose without getting snot everywhere. I see other people successfully blowing their noses, but I have to do it in private, and preferably before taking a shower. The trick is to blow your nose into a tissue. You're welcome. How people can remember all the names of roads, streets, or avenues within a city, and know exactly what someone says when they refer to it. It boggles my mind haha. I have to go by landmarks instead. I cannot deal with any directions that include north, south, east, and west in them. If someone tells me to go south on a road, for example, I immediately go into brain panic. I can only deal with left, right, and straight ahead. 
Thank God for ubiquitous GPS. I'm the complete opposite. Turn left. Wait. Do you want me to go south? Because if I'm coming from the other way, turning left means I'm now going north. Left and right are not constant, whereas north and south are. I have no idea how Easter is determined. 12 years of Catholic school and they never told me either. I think because it shows how they hid their holidays in with the pageant calendar. It's the first Sunday after the first full moon of spring. Yep, sounds pretty pagan to me. How Winrar is still up and running. Oh man. That's a good one. Does anyone actually pay them? While languages need a gender assignment to inanimate objects. Why in French is a table female? Why does it matter? Knowing the French, it's probably because a table is on all fours when you use it. In French vagina is la vagine. It's masculine. Those crazy French linguists. Cunning linguists. I have no clue how to put a call on hold at my job. I've been here a year. If bi-weekly is every two weeks why is biannual twice in one year? Because English is hard and stupid. Sometimes, I can't tell when people are being sarcastic or mean towards me or just playing around. It's really obvious to them that they are not actually being antagonistic, but on the inside, I'm really hurt. I don't ask them if they are being serious out of the fear of being ridiculed. I'm a very emotional guy and just writing this makes me sad. The ducking internet, man. I use it for everything from socialization to work to education and somehow I know duck all about how it works. I've read on the subject and people have explained it to me in plain language but all I hear is magic. Acrylic fake nails. I don't understand the want to have them. I have to have acrylics on or I'll absent mindedly pick all the skin around my fingers and end up with bloody scabby fingers. It's disgusting and the acrylics keep me from being able to do it. I'm a girl and I don't understand that. How do women with really Luan males wipe their butts or even get any work done with those claws? Or worse, those with the designs and bling glued on. Girls don't poo, obviously. I didn't understand the purpose of a tire rotation until recently. I used to think they just spun your tires, thus the rotation. For those of you wondering, different tires can wear out at different rates. If this happens, then one side will have more traction than another, leading to handling issues. Rotating tires moves the tires around to different locations, so they all wear out evenly. <laughs> math beyond algebra. I'm bad at math, so the equation 2n plus 2n is 4n to me. The mouse for my computer. I'm moving this plastic doohickey in the real world, which causes this little arrow to move around in my magic porn machine. <laughs> Music theory. I've taken the same level three times, and it hasn't gotten any simpler. Have you tried to explain away your bad grades with the it's just a theory defense yet? Maybe tell your professors that you don't believe in their theory. God made all the chords in six days, and that's all there is to it. I was always too nervous to ask why my penis has a curve. For the longest time in my younger years I assumed two theories. A. I broke it. B. When I found a girl I loved, it would straighten like free will is fin. I have a slight curve, and it freaked me out when I realized it. I started spanking off more with my left hand in an attempt to reverse the effect. Your comment reminded me about a funny story. My boyfriend is left handed, and in grade 7 his friend pushed him, and he broke his wrist. Apparently not fapping for a month was completely out of the question, and he taught himself how to do it with the right hand instead. Now, he can't reverse it, so he will forever be a right-handed flapper. I'm the only one that knows this about him and laugh secretly every time I remember. At least his mom didn't take over. <laughs> Recorded sound. Nothing freaks me out like the fact that we can make a piece of plastic exactly mimic sounds as complex as human voices. Think of it this way, the earliest recorded sound was done on something like a record, it was actually a cylinder that would rotate, rather than a disc, but same difference. A big old horn collected sound, vibrations in the air, and narrowed down to a needle at the end. The cylinder would turn, and the needle would actually scratch the vibrations collected from the horn into the cylinder. When it came time to play it back, you just put the needle at the start of the groove and turn the cylinder. Now the groove vibrates the needle, and the sound plays out of the horn. Playing recorded sound is the same process as recording it, but sort of in reverse. 
Rather than having a noise scratch a groove via a needle, you have a groove make a noise via a needle. Electronic recording is remarkably similar. Basically, speakers have a thin metallic membrane positioned over an electromagnet. By changing the current on the magnet rapidly, the membrane can be made to vibrate, and you get sound. Similarly microphones pick up vibrations and record their electrical effect on the magnet.